Hi, I'm Janet Glenn. Welcome back to Close to Home's February Intermediate Saturday Sampler. Um, this month we're going to be working with the Creative Grids Pineapple Mini Trim Tool. Um, just to let you know that um, you're going to bring in your finished January block between February 11th, that's this Friday, and February 28th, that's the last day of February, to receive your February kit free. Okay, so make sure you bring your block in. We're having a special event for Super Bowl Sunday. It's through uh, February 13th, 25% off most th most items, and all locations will be open Sunday, February 13th, Super Bowl Sunday, from 12 to 3 for the sale. New classes are also forming in Southington now for free motion quilting, iron pad caddy carrier, mondo bag, and more. So please come. Um, in, look at the project, sign up in-house, or you can sign up through our website. Okay, so let's get on to the block of the month. This month, we're going to be doing the pineapple trim tool. This is called the Mini Pineapple Trim Tool Mini. It makes a 4-inch, 5-inch, and 6-inch finished pineapple square. So we will create four six inch finished pineapples. There are 10 rounds of the pineapple plus the corner units. Okay. All right. We, we did use this ruler before um, and if you've been taking my block of the month, um, we used this ruler in October 2018. Okay. Um, a lot of cutting. As you can see, there's a lot of pieces, therefore there's a lot of cutting. Um, what you're going to get is a very large piece of white on white. Um, it's approximately 31 inches wide. So you're going to cut eight one and a half inch strips by that 31 inches wide. The first two strips, you're going to yield 16 two and a half inch rectangles. Two more strips, you're gonna cut 16 two and three quarter. Two more strips, they're all gonna be three and a quarter. And the last two strips that are one and a half wide, they're gonna be cut three and three quarter. So make sure when you cut your strips that all your pieces are right side up. It'll help you when you stack them together. For instance, when you stack round three together, make sure all your fabric is either right side up or right side down. So when you get to your sewing machine, um, it's a lot easier to pick up your pieces and, and just sew them to the rounds. Um, I found it very easy to label each of my pieces as I cut them. So round two, three, four, five, all the way up to round 10. Make sure you use the little wonder clips or you can even use a, um, long pins for that. Okay. The multi in the blue, uh, we're, it's just like the white except we're splitting it half and half. So um, you're going to cut both multi and the blue the same exact way. You're going to cut five strips. Those are going to be our even rounds, all right? White strips are odds. The colored strips are even rounds. So one strip, uh, you're going to make eight two-inch rectangles. The next strip, round four, you're going to make two and three-quarter inch rectangles. Round six is three-inch. Round eight is three-and-a-half. And last round ten is three-and-three-quarter. Um, if you don't understand this or lose this video for any reason, um, the directions, please refer uh, to the cutting instructions with the Pineapple Trim Tool Mini. Okay. Um, in my directions, I actually have you reference all these pictures that go with the tool. I just give you a little um, extra cutting information. All right, the last one is the green. The green, um, you're going to cut uh, two three inch strips, and the first strip you're going to cut into four three inch squares, four three inch squares, and then the very last one um, are 16 one and a half by one and a halfs. Okay, these three inch squares, uh, don't forget to cut those on the diagonal once. Those will be our corner pieces. 
that go on the very end. And then these little one and a halves are actually round one. I didn't note that, but round one um, is just those one and a half greens. All right, we ready to get started? Let's go look at our tool. This tool comes in three different sizes. So I do want to make sure that you are using the correct one. Like I said, we did use this in October of 2018. Um, there is an, this one finishes four inch, five inch, and six inch. There is also a pineapple trim tool that finishes six, eight, six inch, 8 inch and 10 inch. That's not the one we're going to be using. And of course there's one that in, uh, finishes with a 12 inch. All right. So do make sure that you get the correct one. Um, it should say CGR for Creative Grid JAW3 Mini. And I'm also going to have you reference this on YouTube as well as my video. Um, it will certainly help you understand the ruler a little bit more if this video um, is confusing to you at all. Um, so please go to Creative Grid um, Pineapple Trim Tool Mini or you can put in that um, item code. And there is a, a really nice little video that Creative Grid put out for this ruler. Okay, that will help you as well. All right, let's get started. So I've cut my center purple pieces, um, a very accurate one and a half inch. So when we start with the one and a half inch, all we're doing is starting with round one. So we sew on round one, this one, this one, this one, this one, or however you want to do it, opposite sides first. I found that doing opposite sides um, helped me as I went along instead of trying to go in the round. Um, and they all get pressed to the outside, out from center. Okay, so after I'm done round one, I'm gonna go ahead and put my well, let's go over to the over to here. I'm going to look at my um, my tool, my mini uh, pineapple trim tool, and you'll notice that uh, round one is a white square, and that's the only um, odd number that's down the center. All the rest are even: two, four, six, eight, ten. We're going to use these squares for our um, even rounds which again are the colors, the colored fabrics. And then the white line across here and the white lines going down and the center white line uh, for trimming all of our odd numbers. So as in round three, five, seven, and nine. So the very first one, we're gonna go ahead and place our, our tool right on this center square. So as long as the purple square is in the blot round number one, we can go ahead and trim this. Okay, so we would trim this. We would turn it again, trim it again. Just line that up nice and neat. Go ahead and trim that one. And just keep rotating it, making sure that we trim all four sides so that your block comes out to look like this for round one. Okay, round two. It's pretty much the same thing. We're going to take our inside square and a square from round one, and we're going to add opposite sides of the multi and then opposite sides of round two blue. And again, I just sewed these, pressed them out, sewed these, pressed them out. As you can see, they've all been pressed um, away from center. All right, so to trim this one to look like this, these are our even numbers. So we're gonna go down, looking at round two. We're gonna place round two on our square from our center. We're gonna actually use these lines to help us, um, uh, you know, center our ruler and we're going to trim two sides at one time. So we're going to go ahead and turn this around, place round two 
So all the even sides use, utilize the 90 degree corner. All the odd numbers utilize the 45 degree angle on this side. So we got that trim. So go ahead and trim all four of yours because you'll be making four of these at one time. And it will look just like this. Okay. Round three. Now that we have round two, so one, two, three, we are looking at the odd number. So we're gonna be using the 45 degree uh, angle, uh, the trim line for rounds three, five, seven, and nine. So remember, we just put on this blue one last. So we're going to take our, whoops. We're gonna take our centering line for the 45 degree, which is right here, and we're gonna line that up between the two uh, points of our centering. We're also going to take a look at this white line coming down that it's even with that green seam and that green seam and we can go ahead and cut this. This is three quarters of an inch. They do that so that you can start building your rounds um, and get up to where you need them to be. All right so once I trim this one side I'm going to go ahead and turn my ruler again line up the white line with this last seam that I did before it, which is right here. So as I put this on, I'm gonna sneak that right up here. I make sure that this white line is even with the seam I just did, and that these two white lines are coming down the sides of my last round, and that the center line goes through the points of my square trim that side. So you're going to trim all four sides and round three is going to look like that. Okay, let's do it one more time. Round four. So round four uses the 90 degree angle and we're going to look for the round four square. It says round four right here. We're going to look at this square and put it right on our purple. So as I put round four on the purple, just like that. I see that this line is going right down the edges of my of my center and I can go ahead and trim that. And this white line's going across the center. Everything looks really good. So two sides. Go ahead and turn this around. Find round four again. Round four is right on my purple and trim two sides. And that's what you're gonna get. So the evens, again, are going down through the center, matching up the squares with the center purple um, square in the middle. And the odd ones, again, are going to go down the center line. So I just added this round, so I place this white trim line on the last seam I did, which is right here. And I make sure my center line goes through the two points of my diamond, or my, my square in the middle. Go ahead and trim that side, that side, that side, and that side. And this is round five. So, you get the idea, round six. And the last one we have here is round ten. Okay. So round 10, we do it exactly the same, except round 10, we're done. Usually round 10, we would trim with the 90 degree, but the very last round to put our triangle corners on is to go back to that odd number, that white line that, that goes across here, this one. Okay, so we're gonna take our block, and we're going to lay that on the last seam we did, lining up, making sure we're nice and straight going through this. Okay, and we're going to go ahead, and as long as that white line is on that seam, we're going to trim this one. We're going to trim round 10. We're going to trim number 10, trim number 10, always making sure the white line is on that seam. Okay. Once we've done that, we're going to go ahead and add our 
our triangles. So you can see I've trimmed this to that three quarter. I've added my triangle to all four corners and then this is where we square it up. We go back to our center, our center round, round one. Maybe I found it easier to use the six and a half. Oh, yeah, we'll put that one in the center. Okay, once that's in the center, you can make sure that all your lines are going down each of the rows. If you see these black lines, they're all matched up. And you can trim this side, that 90, this 90, come across, trim this 90, and then give it a, a little turn and finish up your blocks. I know, there's a lot of pieces. It's gonna take you a while, but you got it. You got this. You got this. Once you get your four pineapples all trimmed, go ahead and sew them together into your 12 inch block. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Have fun. Bye.